Now, here's our reporter, Laura Windsor, with a segment for parents having to take their children to the hospital. Sometimes your child will need to be admitted to the hospital so the medical team can diagnose and treat the urgent problem. We spoke with Dr. Peter Ketters at Valley Presbyterian Hospital in the San Fernando Valley and asked him about conditions that would bring a child into the hospital. The different conditions that might bring a child to the hospital vary depending on the age. Uh, newborns in the first two months after birth uh, are particularly susceptible to certain problems. Uh, many babies develop some jaundice after birth, which normally isn't a big deal, but if uh, bilirubin levels get high enough to be potentially dangerous, uh, a baby may need to be hospitalized to get phototherapy, special lights that can break down the bilirubin in the skin um, until it reaches safe levels. Fever in a baby in those first two months is a big deal and requires hospitalization, IV antibiotics, and making sure that there's not a uh, bloodstream infection, urine infection, or meningitis. One-year-olds up through about four-year-olds um, have a lot of respiratory tract problems, and uh, those consist often of virus infections like bronchiolitis and croup, or even bacterial infections like pneumonia. Again, most of those don't need to be in the hospital, but if they result in a need for oxygen, or if the baby or child is breathing hard enough uh, that they could tire out from having trouble breathing, um, they could require hospitalization as well. And the last thing, uh, the type of problems that result in a lot of hospital visits is vomiting and diarrhea, um, which in young children and infants uh, leads to dehydration more quickly because their bodies aren't very big yet. But they're usually treated just with intravenous fluids. Older children sometimes can also have abdominal pain that needs to be observed in case they might have appendicitis or a condition requiring surgery, and accidents, which are uh, really the leading cause of death in children, um, sometimes result in hospitalization if a broken bone requires surgery, if there's head trauma, or other problems like that. My daughter had really bad stomach pains on her lower right side, which um, we thought it could be appendicitis. So I brought her right into the emergency room and as soon as the doctor saw her and felt her stomach, he admitted her right away. I was very worried, but at the same time, everybody here was so nice and just so comforting and letting me know that everything was gonna be okay. They actually take the time to explain everything to you step by step by step, and which is actually very comforting because that way I know what's going on and Natalie knows what's going on. Francisca tells us how her daughter is doing now. She's actually very good and no more pains and changed her diet and so she's doing really good now. Any fear about going to the hospital is both in children and in their parents. Um, some of it in the children is simply not knowing what to expect. Uh, so parents can do a great service if they are able to prepare their child a little bit for going into the hospital. So some of the things that parents might be able to do before the child goes to the hospital is just introduce them to the idea of what a hospital might look like, the kind of things they might find in a hospital room, but remind them if you use pictures that it may not look exactly like the pictures because sometimes the children get a little bit confused. Um, also, play acting. Uh, you can uh, sort of get them used to the idea of things that might happen in the hospital, even using a doll to play act or doing it with your child one-on-one, -on -one. Um, pretending to take vital signs, even drawing blood, putting in an IV. All those things can become more playful and less foreign to the child, making them less anxious when they happen in real life. It's helpful sometimes to give children options also when they're in the hospital because um, they feel like they have no control, and indeed they have no control over most of what goes on. So giving them control over the little things, like what they might be able to eat if they have, when they have menu options, or even which arm you can draw blood out of, gives them some sense of control and makes them more calm. Going to the hospital can be scary, but remember the doctors, nurses, and other hospital workers are there to help your child feel better. For the American Health Journal, I'm Laura Windsor.